Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. When you have a moment, please stop by the Room of Requirement. Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning how to breed beasts. I have been asked to teach you the exploding charm, Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me? Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. I don't know, Deke. Sounds a lot of work. Can't I just carry on rescuing beasts? Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deed suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. You can stop a thief in their tracks with stupefy. Just let me know if there's something in particular. Avelio. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help.
have here? A demi guys. I've been studying Salazar Slytherin's spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Now I can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to deep with the Thestrals. Revelio. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent! Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them.
any more cozy than Hogsmeade. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Revelio. Don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort something. I'll fix him. Revelio. Charm grinder. Alohomora. What do we have here? A demi guys. Revelio. Revelio. all day with your hands. You're no better than a model. Hogsmeade, here I come. Being an officer of the law... Revelio. Speed is a pleasant job, I'd say. Revelio.
You'll see it was a mistake parting ways with me. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our Herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. I can see why he said that. You do seem angry. Of course I'm angry now. In large part due to his absurd overreaction to what is simply passion for my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train Venomous Tentacular. Create guard plants, if you will, that attacked when ordered. We hit a snag when one ate Lawley's kneesel. After that, he cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. Why do you need Mr. Lawley's Venomous Tentacular in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lawley doesn't. Ergo, I can launch my business, and he must start all over again. I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit. And I can get my business going minus any competition. I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. Revelia. This must be it. This must be the cellar. Now, to find that venomous tentacular. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. Where is that venomous tentacular? Ugh. 
Now that I have the Venomous Tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Incendio! Revelio. Any luck retrieving a certain friend of mine from a... Fo Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Thank you again for your help. I suspect you have a bright future. How nice to see you, my if young you friend. More we were alive, I wouldn't be trapped here with you. Now, excuse me! Revelia.
Velio. Revelio. said that travel broadens the mind. You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well- I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Nose is buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. 
They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we both can see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. What are you up to now? I shan't be having none of your nonsense. 
Pavelio. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Keeping things from gran, are we? I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. <laughs> that's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. Hmm, it seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water.
This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Revelia! Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Pelts. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. Revelio! This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Revelio! Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Revelio. Made a unicorn skin. That fetches a few galleons. Keep your eyes off the pretty lass you can't. Quit a flick of a frock and you fall to pieces. Ages since I've found anything worth poaching near Crancroft. Uh. <laughs> Manners are important, though, aren't they? Even in a fight. Hogwarts is very lucky they've got protection Revelio. charms, if you ask me. Thinking in terms of good and evil merely indicates a limited imagination, in my opinion. It's been ages since I've found anything worth poaching near Crancroft. Anyone looking for troubles found it in me. Typicus Totalis. No
Merlin, you'd think they were guarding the minister for magic himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons? It's a dragon fighting ring. His Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now. And the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard cotton. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. It'd scratch me. I'll let him live just long enough to regret it. I heard something. Don't know what Victor was thinking, striking a bargain with him. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Ah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Sickens me to work alongside any of them. Don't know how Ramrock's stomach's being near Rookwood. Foul beast. Not much longer now. Soon our necks will be out from under wizarding boots. Wizard kind will pay for what they've done.
Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her up, shall we? Dean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. I have the egg. Ready. The element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Avelio. Let's make them count. What I wouldn't give to be a Demogais right now.
to free her now before more show up. in black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. <sighs> what now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. <laughs> 